I wrote this a few weeks ago and I keep coming back to it because it's still relevant and it stays relevant. I just posted it in my WhatsApp status. I don't think anybody else has read it. <laughs> but it's a message that I feel in my heart is important to keep bringing back over and over and over again. So I'm going to read it word verbatim and I will share a little bit of thoughts towards the end. And uh, yeah, <laughs> it's called what you've seen in the, in the, in the YouTube uh, title. It's don't try to convince people with your words. All right, let's get to it. I'm learning that sometimes all we can do is take responsibility for our lives and let the results of our personal philosophies show in how we interact with others, how we live. We can't force people to do what they will. We can't force people to do what they don't want. We don't want to be forced either. But true influence happens when people realize that it's in their best interests to listen to what we have to say. And the way we make them interested is just is by just becoming the best person they'll be interested in through our consistent actions over time. I don't like that sentence. As they say, when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. Keep going. God sees your heart. I'm rooting for you. So when I shared that, I added this caption. So it's an additional part. And I think I'll probably develop this even more. Your life should and can speak for what you believe in. If you do it right, you don't need to convince anyone. I'm learning today that if what you have is important for someone else, you will need to convince them. No one wants to be convinced, but most of us don't mind being persuaded. There is a big difference. Convincing requires changing someone's mind. Persuasion is showing them their minds. Let your life persuade where your words couldn't. So here's a, well, it's actually short. It's like half a minute. So this is going to be, I don't say brief, but I say this because Ever since I started to follow Christ, I've noticed people falling off my life. Like just, I've become a lot more aware now. I think it's because the kind of content that I make, the kind of things that I talk about, the kind of things I'm willing to talk about, I'm realizing that some people are just no longer interested in talking to me about them. Some people are just falling apart. And also part of me is probably like, hey, guys are busy, please. You're not, you're not that important. Calm down, Kamga. You are important for some people and for other people, you are not that important. So a part of me is aware that people are just busy. You know, they're living their lives. They're having things to deal with. Another part of me is like, I think that the way and what I'm talking about, some people are not interested in it anymore. And they, they, they don't want to deal with that. On the third flip side, there are people who are like, yes, this is what we're looking for. So I'm very happy that all of this is happening. The whole point of this is... When you realize that you don't have to convince people, first of all, you save a lot of energy. There's a lot of arguments, a lot of discussions, a lot of conversations that could have been avoided if and when you realize that, huh, this person is just set in their ways and I don't need to explain myself to them. If you are someone's child and you live in their house, yeah, there are many times that you have to do that, but hopefully you're watching this and you're an adult. If you're not an adult, well, you'll be someday and you'll get to a point where you realize that you don't have to explain yourself to everybody in your life. You don't have to justify your actions. You don't have to justify your behavior. If, of course, it's within, you know, normal human behavior. Like, when I was beginning this journey of loving Jesus and following him, I tried to explain to people why I was doing it. I remember having a long conversation with somebody um, trying to explain, you know, the Holy Spirit and how it works and all that stuff. And... When I look back down, I'm like, Kamga, you, 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 what, what were you trying to do? Why were you trying to do that? And so now, what I find is, if I can just obey God, do his will, make sure that I am good with him, the rest will fall in place. Like Those who want to come will come. Those who want to leave will leave. I'm not saying I'm not going to maintain my relationships and work and have that. Like... I'm painting broad strokes here because I want to pass across the important message, which is it is not necessary to use your words to explain to people why you are the way you are. The explanation will speak for itself once you become who you know you are in your heart. I'll take a very basic example. A rich person doesn't spend time explaining to people why they are rich. They just do rich people things. They travel, they eat whatever they want, they tip heavy, they have expensive cars. Like when you see a rich person, you don't hear them saying, Oh, yeah, I'm going to explain to you why I'm rich and this is what I did and this is why I did it. And they will think, No, 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 you have to understand I'm really, really rich. I'm really rich. I'm so rich. <laughs> no. So, whatever it is that you believe in, for example, this is I believe Jesus is the Lord and Savior. 
I believe that he died for me. I believe that my life has transformed radically ever since the day I gave my life to Christ. I don't have to explain that to you. You may have known me from a previous life. You may know me now. But if you ask me the question and you're open to actually hearing my take, I'm more than happy to have the conversation. That's, like, that's the difference. It's not that I don't want to talk about certain things about my beliefs. It's that I don't force them on people, especially those who are not ready to listen. And I think it's when you have the discernment and understanding of when somebody is ready to listen. And it comes with, you know, wisdom, not just age. It's, it's God that gives you the wisdom to know when it's time versus when it's not time. And you probably know this, being Christian or not, timing can be everything. There are people, there are times when people are ready to listen to you and there are times when they are not. Knowing the difference is important. Whether you're a salesperson, a doctor, a parent, whatever it is, you look at somebody and you should be able to know like, this is a bad time. <laughs> and it happens to everybody. Some people are just tired. Like you, Somebody wakes up in the morning and you want to talk about, I don't know, investment, first thing in the morning. You're like, no, I'm not in the mood for this right now. And at the end of the day, people just want to rest. I digress. What I'm trying to say here is that if you spend your life using words to justify your behavior to people, you're wasting it. You're not spending it. You're wasting it. Stop trying to convince people that the path that you've chosen is the correct one. Just follow the path and let the result speak for itself. That's it. That's really this what this video is about. When it comes to the Bible and the Word of God and His will for you in your life, don't explain to people the will of God for you. Just act and live the will of God for you. If someone, you're in love with somebody, you're both in love, and you know that this is what God has for you, you don't have to explain to people or justify to it. Is there a way to navigate a landscape? Like, and I'm threading some very delicate areas here. But... You need to be the kind of person, the kind of Christ lover. And that's why my message really is difficult if you don't believe in Jesus because the way you look at the world comes from the lens of the Bible. And there are many things that Jesus did that did not make any sense. Take, for example, like this is just, just, just imagine that Jesus explained himself before he did his miracles, right? Let's take the feeding of the 5,000. And he took the basket and put it down there. And I'm like, oh, it's four fish and it's, it's what, five fish, three bread, I don't know, bread and fish. And it's like, all right, so guys, here's what's going to happen. I'm going to pray. I'm going to raise my hands and give thanks to God. And when you open those baskets, things are going to happen. What? This rabbi is mad. He's crazy. I'm leaving. People have left, right? They're like, no, 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 no. Let me explain. So you, when you close the basket, right, when I pray, it's going to be a miracle. So a miracle is something I cannot explain. What did he do? He just did it. And then we live to hear it now, 2,000 years later. Oh, Maybe you're in a position like, all right, I'm going to work so hard. I'm going to have a lot of money. I'm going to leave this town. You know, I'm going to build a future for myself and family. Oh, uh, yeah, right. See, and people are like, oh, they don't believe in you. Like, why don't you believe in me? You're my mom. You're my dad. You're supposed to believe in me. They should, but they don't. If you read my, if you watch a video about forgiveness, go and watch it. You don't forgive people for yourself. You forgive it because God has called you to do it. All right, I'm trying to say here is that you don't go ahead and try to convince people because you have words. Your word should be your bond. Don't waste it. Transform your life to the point where when somebody comes to you and you tell them it's Jesus, they have no option but to find out who this Jesus is. Just be. I said be the change you want to see in the world. Right? Is it Gandhi? I know Better Bree uses that as a motto. Just be the Christ, the Christian. That you're talking. Yeah. You shouldn't explain to people what it means to be a Christian. Excuse me. You shouldn't explain to people what it means to be a Christian. Right? It's like me trying to justify to you. Like, what I'm doing here is my own work as a Christian to share and talk about Jesus. Whether you watch or not, I will be doing it. Would I prefer if you watch it? Yes. I cannot lie. I mean, I can, but I don't want to. The point I'm trying to make here is that am I doing this to convince you? I am not. I'm doing this because God has called me to talk more about him and to use my gifts. And that is exactly what I'm going to do, whether you watch or not. I'm not saying this as uh, to justify or like pride. Do I want the videos to be seen by millions of people? Oh, yes, I do. Do I want to improve and get better? Yes, I do. Am I learning? Uh, the I am. I will keep getting better, but I will not explain to you and justify to you why I'm getting better, what I'm getting better for. I will just do it. So please, if you find yourself surrounded by people who don't believe in you, don't try to convince them with your words. Live the life. Let your life convince them. Okay? Jesus is there for you to come to him all ye who are heavy laden and weary, and I will give you rest. Go and rest in the bosom of the Lord and get back up and do what he called you to do. The rest to the detail. All right. My name is Kamga. Thank you for listening to this. 
if this is the first time we're meeting please feel free to subscribe join um i have a newsletter where i share this kind of conversation longer i'm going to develop this into more and share it there um it's a there's a free version there's a paid version the, the free one you have all the text so please go ahead join the newsletter scamga.substack.com and um i'll see you in the next video all right take care jesus loves you